In the last video, we converted from rectangular form into polar form. But the example I gave you was pretty easy. I stuck to region one only. I'm gonna make that a little bit more tricky for you now and introduce you to a definition of arg versus arg or argument versus principle argument. So now you have to be paying really close attention to this. If they ask you for the arg of z, of the small thing, they're looking for the angle, which you can calculate using Soka Toa like we did in the previous ones. But if you see a big A or a capital A, that means there is a restriction on the range of values you're allowed to use for that angle. Now, if you have a big arg, which we call the principal argument form, you are only allowed to use angles between minus 180 and plus 180. Or in radians, we could go from minus pi to plus pi. And that makes things a little bit trickier. So here's an example to illustrate what I'm talking about. If we had to write minus four, minus four i, we had to find its principal argument. Remember that's the capital A. We would draw this as follows. We would go from minus four here in the real and down by minus four. So we would be in region three. Now, if we go back to what I taught you on the unit circle, I would generally teach you to add 180 degrees or pi to that one. We would start here. We would go anti-clockwise until we hit this line. So we would say, here's a straight line, and then we're gonna add on this angle here, okay? But that becomes a little bit illegal when we're trying to find the principal argument form because the angle would be too big. Look, that's already 180 degrees. And then we're gonna add on this extra angle here. So we're gonna surpass the limits. We're gonna be over 180 degrees. So we're actually gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna go the negative direction and we're gonna go instead clockwise. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. First of all, we're gonna start by working out what is this angle here. So we're gonna start by saying that this distance here, uh, well, it's minus four and minus four, but minus four is not actually a distance. So the length would be four and four. So if I was to find out here, let's call this theta. So if I was to find out this, uh, this angle here, I would need to do arctan of four divided by four, which is equal to arctan of one. That's an exact value, that's 45 degrees, or in radians, pi over four. And remember guys, you really have to learn those off by heart, they come up all the time. So in the traditional way, we would have gone 180 here, okay, for region three, we would say 180 degrees plus 45 degrees, which would be 225 degrees, but that is too big. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go backwards. Now, when we move this uh, clockwise direction, it's a negative angle. So we would say, I'm gonna go negative 180 degrees, okay? And then I'm gonna add on, because I'm going backwards this direction, the 45 degrees, okay? So that is gonna mean minus 135 degrees. And you can kind of think that if I go 225 degrees here, or minus 135 degrees, in the end I'm gonna end up the same place. The difference is that this would be okay for the argument form with a little arg, so this would be okay for arg z, but it would not be okay for the principal argument form where you need to find arg of z which would be minus 135, which would be okay because we're allowed to be up to minus 180 degrees. So my general tip to con conclude this video is, if you're in regions one or two, you can do like normal. If you're in regions three or four, you start here on the real uh, z-axis and you go backwards and then forwards for region three. In fact, if you're in region four, it's still pretty, it's still pretty easy, you could just, start by, start here and calculate the acute angle and just change the sign. So that is the difference between principal argument and the argument. 
Uh, that really confused me for a long time when I was a student and I never really got the difference. So I hope I've explained that to you so you won't have the same problems that I would have. In the next video, we're gonna be going the opposite direction. We're gonna be starting in polar form and converting into rectangular form. So stick around for that. Good job today, guys. Keep studying and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.